Welcome to Starship Troopers Extermination. Starship Troopers Extermination is doing something that few games even attempt. Can you get 16 random people from the internet, put them together, and actually expect them to coordinate with each other? It's P versus E, 16 players versus endless waves of bugs. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be seeing what this game is all about, asking ourselves, is it good? And then secondarily, we're gonna try to kill 100 bugs. So strap yourselves in and let's see if we can do it. So at the beginning, the news network tells you, hey, this is where we're going. We need to find the hives. We need to advance and then succeed. Cure. And then ultimately, ooh, I'm gonna be a demon. I've been playing as the Bastion Soldier. Think. You get on the planet and you gotta capture it. So the objective here is, let's check the tack map. We gotta get over here to repair the generators. So we're gonna do that. And guess what? Bugs pop up. You got guys with presumably what flamethrowers or flame grenades and there are 16 people all well presumably working together on the internet which honestly gives you a lot of hope for humanity when it works and gives you a lot of pessimism for human nature when it inevitably doesn't so right now we're just shooting bugs and making them go roller skating did you see that he kind of looked like he was roller skating a little bit but uh, i guess like the bugs just they, they just keep coming they don't like it that we're on their land and here we go this is the objective what do, what do we got to do here this bug's eating it excuse me sir this is mine we're gonna repair it get out our little power generator tool here and do i push it is it like a shopping cart repair the generators okay this one's repaired i don't know who put a generator way out here in the middle of nowhere but they did after that we get new orders which are resupply and wait okay okay so they dropped these little like mobile headquarters and inside there's oftentimes ammunition what is this that's a new kind of looking ammunition thingy here's the big one that i'm more familiar with but there was little ones outside oh man we got some big bugs up ahead look at that thing that thing is massive i mean but ultimately you get to feel like you're in starship troopers the movie and you're a space marine you hear that games workshop we said Space Marine. I love 40k for the record, but... Okay, this is problematic. My life is in danger. My life is in danger. Let's run behind my friend here and use him as a, as a bug shield. Whew. Okay, my health is a little bit above 50%. They're saying Territory 3 has been secured, but I'm still seeing bugs literally all over the place. Now, one of the objectives, though, that we talked about earlier was I want to see if we can't kill 100 bugs. Oh, that sounds big. I can't see it. Okay, I can I cannot miss it at this point. I'm going to throw my grenade. And he blows up in a big blue explosion, which almost looked a little 2D in a way. Certain effects, I mean, you gotta remember that this game is technically in early access, but it's strange and almost disjointed in a way that like sometimes it looks so beautiful and other times you're like, wait, that looks a little bit out of place. So I'm hoping to see some increases to the visual fidelity. <laughs> like the explosion's amazing at a distance, but when you're up close, it's like, did did my daughter draw that she's 15 months old when you've got 16 people all playing the same game you gotta worry about performance hold the phone can i drive this thing it looks so dumb i want to do it but i don't think i can now we're running around what sort of looks like is an old federation base so at this point what we can do is we press r and we can place different things uh now i'm gonna place some ammunition up here clear the drop zone where are we dropping all right so drop some ammunition now i might want a tower oh okay hello because i'm gonna build the place where i'm gonna be hanging out so look at that pretty sweet huh so let's go to repair and finish up this tower <laughs> I got ammunition. I got my tower. Now all we need are probably some walls and gates to defend. Well, against the bugs running through the big openings. So what do we got? Let's do... Ooh, electric fence? A ramp wall. Yes. So we're out of resources, I think. So it's ultimately now we just got to finish building all the little bits. So the whole building phase in between the invasion phase is quite a lot of fun. That was closer in defense, eh? What? God? Voice chat is off. That was literally God. Oh, I think it was on proximity chat. Okay. Now that that has is not creepy anymore. What is this? Someone built, I mean, they, they put them here. I'm building them. I'm part of the problem too. I realize that. All right, I want to wall this section off if possible. Okay, someone walled off that one. So maybe it's not necessary. Now let's survey this base. You got to remember that there are 16 different people on the internet, all trying to coordinate this together. So it, it doesn't always work too well, right? But now we get to do the fun part, which is we get to defend the base. 
and you just left click your mouse for about five minutes and hope you don't die, right? That being said, I love myself a good siege. All right, I think we killed the big guy. And they're trying to, they don't really like climb over the walls like they do in the movie. They just hack at it until it gets destroyed and then they run through the breach. I think it would be cool if you could build taller walls and you would get that sort of epic cinematic feel. What's happening over here? Now remember though, we gotta be the tryhards. Sweat needs to go up and bug kills need to go way up. Now I'm at one bullet left. So we're gonna go down to where I place my ammunition, refill, get 600 bullets, and look at these auto turrets. Someone built an auto turret of which there are limitations on how many you can build. That guy looks like a big one that needs to die, right? If I can kill him, I get credit for killing, well, you know, a high priority big bug. Hey, there we go. My game froze for a moment, but not a problem. Oh, we got bugs trying to get in over here, but it looks like a decent amount of people are defending there. So, <laughs> Do we venture outside the base? I don't think I'm in, oh, I was about to say, I'm not really in a target rich environment, but that's not true at all anymore. I just want the bugs to do a little bit more, right? Climb up the walls, tear people into pieces. The base is under attack, they say. Yes, yes it is. Okay, they've broken through the walls. Ow, 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 ow. Son of a biscuit. One of those guys, the little dudes who shoots barbs out of his abdomen, AKA his bug butt. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we got more coming this way. My health is not super great. Ammo's about at half, but bugs gotta die. Okay, I'm getting a freeze, which in the last couple games I've played has not happened. Whenever one of those big blue butt boys is about to die, right before his explosion, I think it freezes. I swear it never happens. So this little medical healing drones here, the auto cannon, we got a lot of support on this side. When you think that each bug takes like a decent amount of your magazine, oh my God, okay. They are all up in here. They've breached this side, so I should probably go over here. And someone's like making the UI turn red around them. So prevent the arc destruction. Oh God, I, I should not be doing this. Running up to bugs. <laughs> And like, hello, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I've seen in the movie, that's how you die. But we gotta defend the arc generator, right? All right, I've got one bullet again. I need ammunition. How are we doing on this wall? I'm just seeing like bullet casings flying out of this turret. Oh, we're not doing, oh God, that's not good. Throw the grenade. I don't wanna die. Get me out of there. Where am I? Get, climb the thing, get up the thing. Oh my God. Whew. Okay, I almost died there. I'm surprised I'm still alive. I'm happy, obviously. All right, so now we went from uh, the exploration mode to the building the base, to defending the base, to the extraction mode. So at this point, we gotta wait, what, eight seconds till we know where the dropship is, well, dropping to? We should probably fill up on ammo, but it's just not very safe down there, as you can see by all of the bugs that wanna kill me. Once extraction happens, respawning is disabled and the dropship is, oh God, oh my God. It's like 300 meters away. The base is completely getting overrun. And at this point, is there safety in numbers? AKA human shields. <laughs> oh God, we got cut off. Oh God. I'm bleeding out, someone's gotta save me. So this is where you need to rely on online friendship. Shadow Edge, Skelly Beard, Skelly Head, I love you. Oh God, he's doing it, he did it. Skelly Head is a legend. Can we get a little Skelly Head as a legend? Thank you. Uh, okay, where's the dropship? 180 meters. I see someone bleeding out over here. I should be able to get to him. I gotta kill this bug. Four seconds, F. Yeah, that is called karma. My karma points have gone up. I saved that guy two seconds and we just gotta get to the objective in a minute and 40 seconds. Now look right where my enemy reticle is. You see all those people? They left us. And there's my boy Skellyhead. So yeah, here's the objective and uh, oh, look at that. That guy's building some really cool looking traps. I don't think we killed a hundred bucks, but as far as the drama near the end, there was a decent amount of it. Now we're getting healed by friendly medics. And how we looking boys? Look at this, extraction's completed. We got some buggos here as we escape, getting zapped by somebody. And like I said, 16 people, things are a little bit crazy, but we've achieved the sweet, delicious taste of victory. Now you check how much XP you got, you get your stats, let's see. We killed 53 warriors, two gunners, 10 drones, seven tigers, and three grenadiers. And I also paid respects. I don't know what that means. Did someone die and I walk up and be like, may you be blessed or something like that? 
We've unlocked hardened ceramic plates as what a presumable upgrade. And I was part of the best squad. Heck yeah. Okay. My combat score was decent. Oh my God. This guy, hell shocked is on another level. Look at how much support he had. Although we didn't die, so that's pretty good for a private first class. And at this point, we can jump back in. So if you guys wanna see more on Starship Troopers Extermination, we'll pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And if you wanna see Multiplier, let me know who we should play with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.